So I opened my newsletter today about blogging. I get a weekly newsletter that's made locally um, by Discover the Berg um, is half partners in this newsletter that's like this week in blogging. And he sent out this um, this link that's called Google Stories. So I know we talk a lot about um, like reels and shorts and YouTube shorts and all of, all of those. These are kind of like the same thing. Um, so they play nicely only with WordPress or authentically coded sites. Hmm. So I really haven't been able to look at a way to integrate them into um, Squarespace sites. However, what you do is, is you design something like a guide or a short film or whatever, and you can actually import it into your sites. But here's the thing. It's actually searchable by Google, <gasps> and they'll actually be starting to be like on the front page. And things like that. So if these stories get searched, like how to make fettuccine pasta, it shows up as these like instructional short videos or these flip books. It, the way it looks, it's like a half in between those new Instagram guides and a like a short video. Because you can tap through it. You can slide through it. You can watch it all the way through. So it's kind of neato. I, I haven't dove too deep into it, but I thought it was really neat though, that you can now make like a tappable story that would be SEO kind of friendly and it would be on your site as well as searchable. So, and, and stories have been starting to creep into, I found myself flipping through some of them the other day on YouTube on, on my phone. Um, and of course we have, we've been talking on the social media Slack um, um, that about, I've been experimenting with stories, you know, um, um, on YouTube too, and actually did a great success. Uh, for for in a couple of instances, uh, for this show, for for other shows, um, things like that. Uh, it, it, so so, this is something that eventually, when I are you saying that like I, I imagine something where I eventually when I search in the Google app or website, this is something that's going to come up. Like there's going to be a story section of sorts. It looks that way. It mm -hmm. also looks like it will actually be able to point it back towards your site because there is a point that you can monetize it by obviously putting it on your site, i.e. sell advertising, sell sponsorship of it. Um, it, I, it didn't straight out say how it's going to be searchable mm -hmm. yet, um, but it's really neat though because they give all these tools. Like they gave you three websites that you could create your own. Yeah. And yeah all these tips and tricks on how to make them interesting. And like people are already using it like bustle and vice and Forbes and stuff. So I, I it didn't really highlight how it's going to go back to Google, but I think it's kind of neato. So there's a, a plugin for WordPress. So you can go right into that. And we, you know, awesome cast wrestling ma'am show are still on WordPress. Uh, we haven't migrated them yet, but um, and then so there's other developer docs and things like that. So you can code your story. That's exciting. <laughs> so I, I guess this is. Um, but I'm also wondering at what point. I, I guess you have to you have to do it through these certain methods. So it's doing text that's searchable. This isn't so much that you know. Hey, I'm already creating things like for these shows or for other platforms like your TikTok, your stories, your reels, your uh fleets uh you know so so translating that over maybe isn't such a great idea right like you want they want them to be natively here but if you're natively making them here hopefully that means you can export them and put them on the other things right i yeah i feel like it's halfway it's more like a guide like those new instagram guides yeah so it's like almost like that i don't i don't know like it was it's a different type of media mm -hmm. like it, it it's half video and half like a tappable thing that you could just scroll through it like wanted to meet it like in between the two i haven't like i said i really want to try one just to kind of see how well it goes right. my site unfortunately is not wordpress so i'd have to figure out how to incorporate the the, the um coding in but, it might be something. Scary. It might be something that's coming. So, um, but this is early, I imagine. So you know, 
I, I, this is something they're trying to get in front of developers. Like I, I just looked up vice.com and I don't see any representation of this or in the search or, or on it, um, at least on a browser, on a desktop. So maybe that's the difference. I don't know. Uh, so I mean, obviously, you know, stories is kind of more of a phone thing. Uh, so it'll be interesting. It, it really is like stories are just kind of the, the new visual storytelling, right? The, the stories, TikTok idea. Um, you know, <laughs> Katie, remember a few weeks ago when you asked me which way to shoot your video? <laughs> yep. That is, it's, this is, this kind of goes along with that. Well, what are you doing with it? So, mm-hmm. um, but, uh, but no, I, I, I think it's something, it's the new way people expect to consume content. So, um, if you are in charge of a brand, in charge of a website, look at this, at least look at this, right? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, but I, I, yeah. I actually just found on the Q and A, it says, where do web stories surface across Google? And it says it's on the Android and iOS Google app already. And you have to enable the web stories on Google search everywhere else. You got me curious now. You got me curious now. I'm about to make the app. It's now, like a weird, there's a Q&A so, at the bottom so, of the So is this page. where like, like my collect, like, cause you have a home and you have collections. I'm poking through right now. See if there's anything going the on discover. here. The discover. The discover. So that's, that's like the front page. Hmm. I think that's the home page. And I have not, Whoa, wait, wait. Oh, I've seen these. Amanda, I have seen these. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. We're going to show you guys on the video version as well. Yeah, if you have that, there it is, like halfway down. I didn't even think about it being this. And there they are. So you have these stories, and it's all like, here, here's peanut butter, banana, baked oatmeal cups. Here's about should Captain America return the MCU and it's going to load up this more animated style. Oh, these are different stories. So like I go into my Captain America thing. Well, now that's a page and then I click on it. Okay. So you got to watch, you tap on it and you go through the story and they're putting text underneath clips from like, in this case, the, the Captain America movies, right. And, uh, and everything. So you tap that. But if you, if you flip, you end up on a different story. So you got to watch uh-huh. what you're doing here. Like, it's a little different than what you're used to everywhere else. And it's talking about Anthony Mackie and has clips of that and Doctor Strange and scrolls and things. So that's, there you go. There you go. That's cool. Okay, so it's out there. And <laughs> it's now how do I get into it? Um, but uh, interesting. Interesting. So that homepage, I believe, is mostly generated from your interest in what you search right? Mine is all wrestling, comic books, video games. Uh, <laughs> that's basically everything. Um, so, so that's how, so if you're doing your, you know, you're doing bold Pittsburgh and you're doing your stories, that'll come up under Pittsburgh and, and, and restaurants and, and things like that, right? In nightlife. So interesting. Never buy an iPad, iPad in January. <laughs> This one that just came up with just a snowy park bench. <laughs> what the? 